Texas realtor and life coach Jenna Ryan was recently sentenced to 60 days in jail for participating in the January 6th Capitol insurrection, has decided to hit the books before going to jail. Uh, why? What, what, oh, okay, on what? What is, she, what is she studying? How to survive prison. Uh, okay, uh, wow, that's interesting. Fun. Uh, now, in an interview with Business Insider, Ryan says she's been studying up a prison culture. Let me just remind you, she's going to a minimum security prison. So, and she's going to be there for 60 days. Actually, no, for 48 days. Uh, you know, because she had been in pretrial detention. So, you know, hmm. Why do you need to study up on prison culture? That seems very strange. Uh, it also seems very white. Um, just saying. Now, in recent days, she had been talking about her plans for when she is incarcerated for that very, very long sentence of two months. Um, in fact, on a video on TikTok she had uh, posted, she told them, I have to report to prison, and the only thing that I can see that's good about having to go to prison is that I'm going to be able to work out a lot and do a lot of yoga and detox. Hmm. Oh, that sounds lovely. Very, very lovely. Uh, wonderful, wonderful. But it almost sounds like she's going to a camp. Like, oh, yeah, it's going to be, I mean, you know, technically it's jail, but... Also, like, I can center myself with my meditation. You know, I, I don't know if they'll allow crystals in there, obviously. Um, you don't need healing crystals. Got, you know, faith in Trump or something. I don't know. All right, anyway. Now, uh, in her interview with Business Insider, uh, Ryan says that she's been watching YouTube videos about prison life and picking up slang that she thinks she will need to communicate with her cellmates. Or, as she calls them, punkies. I, I just, I, you know what, I, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna watch out, I'm gonna learn all the slang, I'm gonna come out hard with my bunkies. Oh God, it, it gets worse, the cringe continues. It continues, uh, all right. Uh, now, she says, I've been doing a lot of reading and research lately. I know, know that the general rules are, you don't talk to anybody, you watch out who you talk to, you don't ask anybody what they did, it, it's just to a totally different world. Minimum security. Minimum security. Good lord. Uh... She then adds, but since I'm also a life coach, I can imagine that I'll end up making some pretty genuine connections while I'm there. You're going to prison. For, yes, it's minimum security for two months. How good of a life coach are you? Honestly. I mean, really. You're, you're a life coach. And you're like, oh, yeah, you know what? One of the lessons, don't insurrect. No, I don't even know if she would come out and say that. Because she obviously has no remorse about what she did at all. Again, you insurrected for Donald Trump. I wouldn't take advice on how to do anything for you uh, or from you. I'm sorry. Never, never. Ryan also then plan says that she plans to her down. Keep to herself. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Oh, you, well, you could have done that before, which is why you're in, in jail for the first part. Because, look, the judge was like, oh, you know, probably willing to let it go that you know, because you were, you know, not inside of the building during the riot. Uh, and so, you know, you were parading, demonstrating. And a lot of people who, did, who were charged with the same thing ended up getting uh, no jail time, probation, essentially. But where she messed up is she opened her goddamn mouth. And so what she said was something along the lines of, well, I've got a good, I'm not going to jail. Uh, I'm too, uh, you know, I'm too white. I'm too pretty. I got a good job. I got a good career. I'll never go to jail. Oops. And she posted that. And the judge was like, well, now you are. 
Now you go to jail. Oh, can you imagine, too? She gets out after le learning all the slang. And then she comes out, you know, it's all like, oh, I'm super hard. Kind of like, um, God, it makes me think of uh, Family Guy. When Meg goes to prison and then comes out like super hard and scaring everybody, except that it won't be like that. It'll be much cringier. Like she pretends to be a badass. I can see that. I can see it. White and blonde. Thank you. Uh, oh my God. The whole thing. Incredibly cringy. So cringy. And she says, I'm probably going to be in a little lockdown area with what I would assume will be a bunkie. I'm learning all this new te terminology, which again, uh, you will not need. Oh, but look at that. How precious. This is a learning experience. <laughs> oh, yes. A wonderful, wonderful. In fact, here's a, probably about the whitest thing that I've ever read. Ryan says that she has been speaking with prison consultants about what to expect when serving and admitted that because of her notoriety, she may have a rough time. So, so okay, uh, I'll address the uh, prison consultants here because that's, I mean, that's cringe. But here's what she said. I've watched all these videos about minimum security prison, and the main concern is not the other inmates, but that you're treated very, very cruelly by the guards. Oh, cruel. Uh, what, what, you can't get your, what, spa day? You can't get your mani-pedi? Is that what's going on? Again, this is essentially club fed. All right? That's about it. Uh, not very, I mean, again, when you're, when you're looking at prison, right, it's still not a fun time. You're going to minimum security. You're with the white collar criminals, right? The people who rip other, who made the mistake to, uh, and it's the one mistake you can make in America, ripping rich people off as a, as a wealthy white person. I, that's the only way you'll go to jail as a wealthy white person. You rip other rich people off. You rob regular people. You run a bank and you rob billions of dollars from millions of customers. You're totally fine. You, you get a golden parachute. Uh, but you, you know, you rob fellow rich people. Oh, no. Well, that's a crime. Mm, not, we can't abide that. You're going away. You're going away for a long time. So, come on. Oh, the guards. Oh, they're so, they're going to be so cruel to me. Give me a break. She says, I'm going to be treated poorly for 48 days. I may have people that try to run hustles on me, try to trick me. But you would know all about that. I mean, Donald Trump ran one of the biggest cons on her. One of the most, one of the longest, most successful cons ever run on the right wing. I mean, again, he got you to insurrect after robbing the government of billions of dollars that the taxpayer uh, and put it back into his pockets. That's what he was able to do. And then he brags about it. So incredibly openly corrupt. This guy is. And you still don't see it. You still don't see it. Oh, you know, I'm going to pay for uh, uh, to bail everybody out. You know, I'm going to pay their legal bills if you go and, and do stuff for me. You're kidding me, right? Of course he did that. Oh, I'm going to pardon everybody. I'm going to pardon everybody. What about Q Shaman? What about, what about Miss Alice here? Hmm? Hmm? Did you pardon anybody? No, you pardoned Steve Bannon because Steve Bannon is a crook. Just like he is. No, ridiculous. Ridiculous. Girl, you are going to have a rough time if you are, if you are that easily conned. You might have a rough time. Okay? But again, here, here's the thing. Club fed. This is rich people jail. Not the same as poor people jail. They're not going to treat her badly. No. Not, not like, okay, not like somebody who is, for example, poor and black going into real prison okay black and poor people get treated horribly for her this will be a little bit of a vacation where she can meditate and detox do a little yoga and uh you know maybe maybe get a little muscle mass you know because what else are you gonna do it is jail but uh, finally let me get to the again one of the most ridiculous things and, and reference this again prison consultants did she literally pay somebody to, to be a prison consultant? Come on. Come on. I mean, 
Is somebody paying, is she paying somebody to tell her how to survive ma minimum security prison? No way. No. If she is, again, has to be one of the dumbest people alive. Oh my God. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.